Hello, good day, and welcome to this week's rate update. A new face today, my name is Nicholas, and I'm focusing on reefer containers and the short and long-term market development for the specific container type. We are in the market trends view again, and I selected five global corridors um, for us to check the high level um, rate change from a year ago to today in percentages. Now keep in mind that those are long-term contract prices. So for example, for the bottom two that we're gonna focus on in a bit more detail in the few minutes, um, we have um, North Europe Main to Far East Main with a 35% increase on long-term contracts from 12 months ago to today. So today's rate stands the market average, long-term contract stands at $2,859. For North Europe Main to South America East Coast, the market average price um, on the long-term market for a 40 reefer high cube stands at $1,300, which is a 13% drop compared to 12 months ago. Now going into the first example, North Europe Main to South America East Coast. We're now looking at the development on the short term market, the yellow line, and the long term market, the blue line, over the past 12 months. Before we go into today's rates and this week, basically the price levels today, let's look at the correlation between the short and long term market for you to have a look at. Going into 2020, the short-term market picked up heavily by IMO surcharges and then remained relatively stable um, while increasing a bit going into COVID times. The long-term market followed that trend going into 2020, but did not sustain um, the higher rate levels that were achieved by um, the IMO developments and then dropped again going into April, April um, remaining relatively stable. The development in the short term market now over the past weeks where we see the big drop due to the bunker developments is not yet to be seen in the long term market. If you look at today's rate levels, we see that the short term market average for a 40 reefer high cube on this corridor stands at around $1,400, while the long term market average stands at $1,300. Going into the next example, North Europe Main to Far East Main, we see a very different development. We see that going into 220, the short-term market is increasing heavily, while before we had a relatively stable price development on both short and long-term market. Again, the long-term market is picking up the trend, not as heavy as the short-term market and remaining relatively stable, but still, going into the same direction. Now, interestingly enough, the prices are not being able to be sustained um, on the short-term market. So we see in June, there's a drop also linked to, of course, the bunker development. However, we do not see this picking up on the long-term market yet. Going into the specific rate levels again, we're now standing at $4,200 for the short-term market average and $2,600 for the long-term market average for a 40 reefer high cube. Looking at all market metrics for the short-term market, we can see the big spread between the market low and the market high. Still, the long-term market average sits below the short-term market low. I would like to use this insights for you to also reflect on how the correlation between short and long-term market can be useful for your operations and what kind of conclusions you would like to draw from this. I hope you enjoyed the little rate update today and I wish you a very good week ahead. Bye-bye.